Hey guys, just a guy here with another episode of Tips and Tricks, I guess, of Vanilla. Um, this episode, I thought it would be about a bee farm. I was trying to make a somewhat decent looking bee farm. Um, trying to make it look like a flower. I was running into a lot of problems because the bees kept escaping. They would go in the beehive and then come out of the beehive, like anywhere within three blocks of the range or so. So I ended up having to try to solid, put a bunch of solid blocks all over the top and it seemed to help. The only solution I could think of is just have an open top and then the bees would escape, but I ran into some major bugs that sort of made me decide not to really post the farm itself. I have the game rules set up to 2,000 ticks right now just to grow a lot, right? Tons of wheat in there, five farmers, set to new so they're always working. In about an hour, this is what I've gotten. Several stacks of seeds and only three pieces of wheat. Now, before I put those farmers in there, I filled their inventories with seeds as much as I could. I put like 40 stacks of seeds until they wouldn't pick up any more. Then I picked them up again and dropped them again just in case they missed it. And for whatever reason, no wheat's coming out. I only got three pieces of wheat, four pieces of wheat in like an hour of super crop growth and tons of seeds. And when I'm watching it, I don't really see any wheat drop most of the time, not even before they pick it up. So I think something's broken with this particular uh, 19W34A in that they're not tr treating the wheat being broken as fully grown or something most of the time. It's like being the villagers are breaking it early or they're counting it as it being unbroken because it's just not working right. Like if I go over here to this little thing here, um, and I be in survival, I break it. I'll get wheat and seeds, a bunch of seeds, and maybe a wheat or two, right? But for whatever reason, they're not. So I mean, I should get at least one everything. But it's super low compared to what it should be. Like, I mean, they're breaking dozens of these at a time. And it's growing almost instantly. But I'm getting one or two wheat. So either the drop rate's messed up, which is what it seems like. From what I've watched them, I don't even see wheat fall. Or their inventory cannot be filled with seeds alone anymore. Um, you know, because I dropped seeds until they couldn't pick them up anymore, and I'm they must have like a special slot just for wheat, or wheat's just not dropping from the plants anymore. I mean, it's not like my catchers are missing it. You can see it's not falling on the ground. But I mean, this was the basic idea of the farm of five farmers in a small area, so they farm, and then a bunch of beehives with bees. Each hive holds like three bees, and I think I have double the amount of bees that the hives can hold. So instead of 12, I had 24, so that there was always some working and some processing. Uh, you kind of need the hive just so that, so they can uh, pathfind more often. But yeah, they kept escaping, like I was saying earlier. So the only solution I found was putting solid blocks everywhere. You want glass blocks if you can on the inside, because they suffocate themselves sometimes by flying into corners. And they also get stuck in corners, so if you don't have solid corners, it'd be best. Like, I was going for the design of a flower, which really hurt. Because they'll just go to the corner and then sit there staring at it like they can pathfind through that corner. Um, but if you don't want to have the roof, the only thing I can think of is have a couple flowers nearby and hope they pathfind back inside and just have the roof open. But they're pretty stupid, so I don't know about that. But yeah, this was working pretty well on the carrot farm over here with just the one farmer in the middle. That was my initial plan. But then I wanted wheat, and I tried more farmers, and the wheat doesn't seem to be working. The carrots, I mean, I was getting a stack or so an hour. Because, I mean, you know, the fact that the villagers don't only work for uh, uh, Minecraft hours a day or something. But, um, you know, he was keeping up with the crops more or less. Um, two villagers might be good. The problem with multiple villagers of carrots is they try to breed. They keep trying to trade. Like, for whatever reason, if I put another villager in here, um, they'll trade food and give hearts, even though there's absolutely no beds around. So I don't know what's up with that. 
Oops, he killed that pot. Oh well. But yeah. So he'll he'll toss some carrots to him. There, see? And then they'll have hearts and then they'll get frustrated because they can't breed without a a bed. But they'll still try. I, I didn't think that was a thing. The constantly trying even with no beds. Come on guys, ignore me, I'm just observer. Maybe it's because it's the work hour of the day, they won't breed. I'm not sure. But yeah, there we go. So, that sort of hurts the farm if you have food they can toss to each other like carrots. That's why I was going with the wheat, because I thought I could fill up their inventory with seeds so they couldn't make the bread to toss around. But yeah, the the wheat is still at five, as you can see, and I mean getting stacks and stacks of seeds, but no wheat. It's very, very weird. So I don't know if it's just something wrong with the villagers and how the wheat works, or if the bees growing it make it not count as the right stage of growth. That's the only thing I can think of is um the bees bone mealing growth doesn't count and when they break it it still counts as being a seedling or something i i don't know but yeah guys that was just the thing i was like i said i wanted to show you guys the farm i was going to have like a hexagon of flowers and to make a little cool bee farm but um yeah these bugs just sort of make it not really pointful your best bet is just to put a couple bees around uh a normal farm i guess uh, the one thing I will say, though, is for whatever reason also, the bees, once in a great while, get nudged by a villager and get angry enough to sting them, which doesn't kill the villager usually because poison can't kill them. And I think they heal when they go to bed or whatever. Um, but then the bee will die like 20 seconds later because it lost its stinger. Um, so, yeah, that's a thing. And then they run into blocks and suffocate themselves, and they sometimes escape if you don't have it absolutely escape-proof. So... It's going to actually be somewhat hard to maintain a farm because you constantly lose bees between suffocation, them stinging the farmers, or just escaping and dying. I, I can't think I killed them all, but they also fly off looking for a flower or whatever, and then if they don't find anything after a while, they just seem to freeze and stop and do nothing. It's very odd. So, yeah guys, this is just a guy, again, with not quite a farm like I wanted, but... I just thought this was important that for whatever reason this little snapshot seemed to have broken wheat. Also you can notice that this is 3,000 ticks, or 2,000 ticks, and this is barely growing. Every once in a while it does this, and then I do something like start and stop this water stream, and then everything starts working again instantly. So that's also very odd. I, I don't know what's up with that. Like, and then it'll work a while, and then it'll just stop again, and then I'll put the pail of water down, and it'll start again. Like, it's very odd how the tick rate just seems to stop working completely. And then other times it's like this, where it's growing constantly. But, yeah, still, five wheat. But I was really happy with this. I mean, it's just a standard little thing. I had this set to originally, um... Two full stacks of stone and a half stacks about every two to three minutes the cart would go out so things wouldn't despawn. But it also wouldn't be running all the time. And it worked and the bees made it grow a little faster. And it was all cool but the bees kept escaping. I couldn't really make a nice little design because I would escape. Um, I tried to put the spencers up from the top facing down into this thing but the problem is the Honeycomb would shoot up the blocks instead of fall down so it wouldn't get collected down there You would have to have a dispenser on the bottom of the beehive or the side or something. I don't know where you could exactly put it But yeah So this is just a guy signing off with uh, another sort of failed attempt at making a bee farm I guess I just don't think this snapshots really viable just yet, but we'll see how it goes Get you guys later. Bye